Good morning and namaste from Nagakot viewpoint. So we are having breakfast here. They said buffet breakfast. However, we only have uh, 15 people. So this is the one of the best hotel in around Nagakot. Nagarkot. Nagarkot literally it means the the village fort. Actually in 1370 13 to 1768 AD in the Kathmandu Valley they do have a Mollaj dynasty. During that time they use this place as a ancient fort. Because if they use they stay here, they can check out neighboring kingdom very nicely. From here we can also see many Himalayan ranges, including Manashlu, Annapurna, Langtang, Mahalangur, Jugal Himal, and many more ranges you can see from here. Passing through the main market area of Nogakot village, so we are heading to Dule Hill. In route to Dule Hill, most of the time we walk in the road, somewhere paved, somewhere unpaved. While walking on the road, we can see beautiful valley of Kathmandu on the right, and this is the plant planted by Nepal army, they have mentioned their individuals names who planted the tree over here. Once you walk few minutes, you will reach Nepalese army war school, where they are not allowed to take picture and videos. Keep moving on it and will get the road they split left and straight to go the dulikil follow the left one where this road takes you the mystic mountain hotel which is the four star category in nagakot hill enjoying the early morning sun rays and beautiful sounds of the board gives you fantastic feelings can see the mustard field and local village on your left. And this trekking, this hiking is one of the beautiful, short and sweet hiking route near to Kathmandu, which gives a lot of beautiful experience within a few days. Then here it is, the hotel Mystic Mountain one of the beautiful and the good quality hotel in Nagakot, what I mentioned already before. Leaving the Mystic Mountain Hotel area, keep moving and keep following the main road which is unpaved. In between, we will see one beautiful migration center. However, they are not allowed any other people outside. Here, people come to do the meditation as well. Taking a fresh air and walking to the beautiful sun rays, we will reach one cross section where there is beautiful stone gate. We enjoy it over there and keep following instead. There is a four, there is a cross section, left, right and straight and you're behind. Just follow the in front of the, your, your way. And here is the some information of this hiking trail. Follow the gradual up road, maybe 10 degree inclined one. So while walking, you will find 
many Himalayan golden raspberry on your left and on your right you will see the plant herbal plant which is called Azarentena adenophora. In Nepali it is called Banmasha. This is also some medicinal plant. When we got scabies and that time in village they use this plant to heal their scabies which is really helpful passing through it for a forest and you will encounter one very beautiful section where there is many shrine and there is one statue of Lord Shiva well if you walk to these steps you will see the beautiful statue of Lord Shiva in Hindu's religion Shiva the is the symbol of destruction God whereas Brahma is creator and Vishnu is protector Shiva is destroyer that means destruction of all negative things what you hold like ego jealousy and many more things which is not good for you however in the Shiva followers Shiva is the ultimate God they assume that Shiva is the creator destroyer or protector as well from here we leave we left the road and we go on your left follow the drown trail which is really beautiful steps narrow and it could be slippery because of leaf of pine tree somewhere it is very narrow and we need to be extra careful while walking on this route once you pass through that that narrow and difficult trail you will see you will reach the open space where there is lots of pine forest however it is fine forest you will find rhododendron as well in nepal they do have a, we do have a 30 type of species of rhododendron and it is also national flower of nepal then you will again meet the road on your right you will see beautiful mustard farm and on your left you will see the villager they collect the pine leaf and they store for their cattle actually they make this dry leaf as a bed for the cattle and ultimately they're, they're, they use that dry leaf to make fertilizer with mix of their cow dung while walking on this village when we reach there we will feel more beautiful things there over here you can see the ancient or typical nepali house where they do have a many section to put to store to sleep to cook their things enjoying the beautiful terrace farm and we also attracted by a couple of people who they are harvesting their radis and preparing to send to the city we are lucky that we could able to taste organic radish as well and their client also they enjoy it over there once we we had a beautiful time over there in the radish farm we keep continue to Ton Chok. Ton Chok is our launch place once after this one we have to climb up steps to reach Ton Chok. in between we saw two women carrying the grass and firewood for their home use keep continue there the the, the, the unfab road we keep we we start to hike up we can we can reach by this if you follow the road this road also takes you the ton chalk but while walking to these steps you may enjoy the around the things as well you will find more beautiful terrace with mustard farm
after the beautiful hike up, we were reaching near to the town chalk. Town chalk is the launch place in this route. If they are fast walker, some people they also could able to reach to the kill itself for the launch. To arrive over here from the Kasevanjang, we walk all the way uphill. Maybe it takes around 40 minutes to reach here from Kasevanjang. And this is the another beautiful stoppage where they do have a beautiful stupa and decorated with their prayer flag. Beside of this, they are making monastery as well. On your back side, they, they, are, they are making, they are constructing monastery as well. Maybe after a year, you will find and you will have chance to meditate inside that monastery. After 40 minutes, they serve our dalvat, which is really delicious and super natural and super organic. Once we had our lunch, we start to hike downhill following the natural trail and passing through the village. Like, village. While walking and passing through this narrow trail, you will see beautiful valley on your left. And now you can see more wide valley. Even from here, you could see Tulik Hill itself. On your right, you will see the Banepa, and on your straight, you will see Tulik Hill. Walking on the, this ridge, you will see beautiful valley on your left and right, which is really beautiful. Enjoying the real typical circumstances, on your right, you will see the dry corn plant, which later they serve to their cattle. You can see the main road, which we, which we are following to reach Tulik Hill. In between, somewhere we walk on a natural trail, somewhere we walk on the road. After passing through the beautiful village, so we now reach at Kokare Danda, which is really beautiful. From here, you can have a beautiful picture as well. Now, there is, you can enjoy different kind of bird over here. However, I didn't know that the name of the bird. Now, we reach at Ravi Opi. So leaving the Ravi OP, we follow this, this concrete road. Gradual up, while walking up the road, you will enjoy some typical village as well. Here, you can follow the main road as well. You can go to the main natural trail. If you walk from here, you will see beautiful temple on top. where there is many shrine as well. Again, you will meet the road which was which we left before. 
definitely walking this road is a little difficult because of the dust as well. And if you follow this, this steps up, you will see, you will reach the viewpoint. But now we we are not plan we are not going on that viewpoint. On your left, you will see some public gym center or exercise center. Now keep following and gradual downhill to reach to Lichal. Again, we walk inside the main trail. And now we reach one of the beautiful house over here where we had beautiful time with local omen and local villagers actually they like us very much and even our client they enjoy it with them very much and they serve tea apple and some biscuits as well which was the most beautiful time we had today having tea enjoying with local people and snacks they serve snacks as well which was really beautiful and delicious as well once we leave that house that typical house we cross the one dog farm where they do have a lot of dog a lot of varieties of dog which is for sale as well if you want the dog for the domestic pet you can go and you can get from there keep following and we will reach the main road After we walk almost 18 to 19 kilometers, we are about to reach our home for today. The Heritage Home, which we booked from Nogakot to spend a night over here. The dusty and long trail made us really tired and we had a rest all the night to prepare for tomorrow. For now, good day, good night.